Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk and in this video we're going to be talking about the VirtualBox software and how to install Windows Vista on it. Now basically you've probably seen me using VirtualBox or a virtual machine on my, in some of my videos where I've got an operating system like I'm using now and there'll be another bar here with another operating system in a window. Well this is the software you're going to need. You need to come to VirtualBox.org and it's actually free to use. Go to Downloads and then select the area that, yeah, with the operating system that you're using, whether it will be a Linux, uh, Intel, Mac or Windows or whatever. So obviously it's Windows I'm using because I've got Windows XP. Click on this and then the download will start. Now this is uh, 67.4 megabytes. Download that and obviously install it. Now once it's installed it will ask you for to make a, an account which is a name and your email address to use the software which is ok set that up and then you're good to go basically you'll have an icon on your desktop or if you're using rocket dog you stick it in there and it'll be in there the same as mine and once you've got this far you will you won't see this here but basically you can see I've already got one here so I'm going to make a new one to install Vista I'm going to call it Vista like so and then come down to the Windows operating system what it is choose Vista Go next. Now you can change this part, the base memory, at any time you feel like. So I won't worry too much. Just 512 is enough for Windows XP Pro, but I mean we're just going to leave that about there. You can actually up it at a later date. Okay, the recommended side boot drive is blah blah blah. And you can see it there. Just read the blurb, and then it's pretty much self-explanatory, really. As you can see, this is my existing one here. I'm going to create a new one go next go next again and you want dynamically expanding storage you can read the blurb and it will cer certainly work itself out once you've read through it but this is the one you want to choose or I'm choosing go next location vista okay we're gonna call this size I'll leave that as a I'll leave that 20 because it's quite a beast so Windows is about 10 so if you're doing Windows XP Pro or Windows XP it'll be about 10 gigabytes I'm going to leave it as 20 gigs so I've got plenty of space anyway so it's no, no big deal go next go finished go finished again and then you can see there's a, a little icon in our little box here now what I need to do is put the CD in the drive go start Go next. And now we obviously we need to make it talk to our CD drive. Now this is the part where you put your CD-ROM device and then the host device. This is the actual drive of your CD drive. I'm going to mine's D, so I'm going to be calling it D there. Go next. Then finished. And then this should start to install the actual operating system. Now you can see this is the window that, that you see many a time. And that's actually loading up nicely. Just let it load in. I will pause it every now and again just so you don't have to watch the boring part. There you go, it's now starting to load. As you can see, occasionally you may see this, but don't worry, it's just because obviously I'm clicking in and out of the actual window install now. And then this will then start to install Windows Vista. I shall uh, just click on there, accept the license agreement, go next, clean copy, yep, click on that, go next. 
starts to install. I shall pause this bit. Just let this install as it's going now, as you can see. It's just um, expanding the files. You see, it will take some time uh, to install. Once it's in, once it's installed, it'll be done. As you can see, we're up to 96%. Then it'll start installing the features and then the updates, and then that should be completing installation. Installing updates. There we go. So we're, what we're going to do now is install that part. Windows needs to restart to continue. Don't push the C. Don't push to boot from CD at this point. Otherwise, it will start to install again. Just leave it. As you can see, start to load up. And then you'll get this. Please wait a moment while Windows prepares to start for the first time. Coming up at this point. And there you go, it's starting to complete installation the system will reboot again as you can see windows will start to load up for the first time And then all you do is just basically type in what you want there, like so. I'm just going to call my Brightec. Click, click any picture, doesn't really matter. Click next. Doesn't really matter what you do here, it's entirely up to you. Click on what you like. Click next. Next again, I'll do and then stop, and that should be it. You should have your yep, right, operating system installed, and then you get some. Windows popping up like this once the installation's getting to its end. Just do a few checks. Any computer's performance. Just let it finish its checks. Okay, so the system will reboot again. You get a few system reboots with Vista installation. And there you go. Just logging on. It's just preparing the desktop. Another reboot.
we go. That's one Windows Vista installed on Sun's VirtualBox. I hope this video has been some use to you. Download the software. Have a go at it yourself. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Brian from brighttech.co.uk. Bye for now.